Growing up in Walto County in a poultry family, I believed uh, I could be one of three things, a teacher, a bank teller, or a dental hygienist, because those were the only jobs that I saw available to me in rural Maine. If you can't see it, you can't be it. That is why the Maine Future Caucus is so important. I never would have believed that I would become legislator or even serve as House Majority Leader when I was a kid growing up in rural Maine. Our job here today is to present a counter narrative to, dis to the dysfunction and the distrust in government so young Maine citizens see a role for themselves in the government. The message that I want to give to uh, people that are living in Maine that are under the age of 40, uh, those who we're focusing on with this caucus and our efforts, is that Maine is a state uh, that people can get engaged and involved in the legislative process if they want to. And so a lot of our efforts are going to be focused not only on legislation here and building relationships on both sides of the aisle, but also encouraging members of the community to be involved in, in uh, the legislative process and, and making their voice heard. I'm excited to uh, be putting issues that are relevant to um, younger Mainers uh, on the front burner and pass some legislation as a result of this caucus. So I just want to uh, encourage all those uh, who are interested to reach out to us with different issues uh, that you may think that we should be focused on here, but I uh, want to also let you know that we'll be focusing ourselves on issues of student loan debt um, and uh, clean energy policies and other issues that will help make Maine a more attractive and affordable place for young people to uh, live and, and hopefully move to to raise a family.